Hey guys, I am Rachel Rodriguez and this is my toy review. Um, so last week I reviewed Prince Adam's Sky Sled and you guys actually watched it. So I am today doing a review on the Battle Cat. Um, this, um, these are the new Masters Origins line. Um, they are on sale right now at Walmart. Um, and this is Battle Cat. Um, the artwork on this packaging is incredible. Um, just beautiful picture. Um, on the back too, there's a really awesome scene with Skeletor and Cringer and He-Man. Um, just really, really beautiful work. Um, so I already learned a couple things from doing my last video. So I already have, um, Battle Cat out of the package because that was kind of crazy. But, um, so this is Battle Cat. Um, he has, um, his armor and his helmet. Um, the, I thought that I would just kind of compare the new one with the old, um, just to, yeah, show you the difference. So first, right off the bat, obviously this is more of, um, just a sculpt. There's no articulation. Like this is, this is what you have. So this is the old vintage line. Um, he has no movement whatsoever. So, um, the new battle cat, um, his, all of his legs move. Um, he has some twist on his elbows that move. Um, he also has a tail that moves. It goes side to side and it does come up and down, not quite as well with the armor on, but, um, he does have that. And then I'm going to take his helmet off real quick. He also has, um, his neck joint moves, um, up and down. And then his head also has a joint, um, that goes back and forth. So, um, in the, in comparing them, um, the biggest thing that I noticed right off the bat is that we get to have some eyes on this helmet. Um, the old helmet is just solid, um, one color, um, no painting on there. And I wondered, because I, you guys already know, or if you didn't watch, I'm not a Masters mega fan. I did not um, grow up playing with these toys, but um, I wondered maybe they used to have paint on them and now they just wore off, but I found another one that also does not have paint on it. So my guess is that they were never painted. So we get some eyes, some detail in the helmet, which is really nice. Um, He-Man is, because of his articulation too, he is really easily um, able to be on here and stay on here again like before there's not you don't have to have a lot of a lot of time balancing because he just sits on there really well so um, I'm going to we'll take this armor off and I just said he balances well and now he's gonna fall over Oh, this is terrible. Okay. Um, but he does stand up well. Watch the other videos. Um, so I'm just going to hopefully really quickly just um, take this armor off so that you guys can see them um, without the armor too. Um, again, vintage one, absolutely no movement. But we got tons in um, in this new in this new sculpt. So, um, but he still he's. I think he's slightly larger than the vintage, um, but I think that they really kept um, the shape of him very similar. I think it's really, really quite similar. Um, his coloring is really similar. Um, the one thing that we were talking about is how with the old one, you have a very distinct line from the mold that goes all from the from the head all the way to and through um, the tail, and it kind of looks like they tried to almost mimic that in this new one. You can see that he his head is just a little bit split, and then he does have the line that comes through here. Um, 
what do you think? Do you think that was intentional? Um, do you think it wasn't intentional? Um, I know that they have to bring the mold together somewhere, but usually they can hide that a lot better now. But um, so yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you think? Do you think that was on purpose or not? Um, I think that's about it. I mean, these, they're really cool. I think it's amazing that you can go from, you know, maybe your 10 year old self is just dream, was just dreaming about, you know, being able to actually have him move, um, and, and be able to play better, um, with the toys. And now we have these really awesome ones that they, you could set these up a ton of different ways with way more action and way more, yeah, movability. It's just, I think they're really cool. Um, so what do you think? Um, what do you like about it? What don't you like about it? Let me know. Um, and let me know what you think about my video. Um, and let, what do you want me to do next? I guess I could do, um, we could do He-Man and Skeletor because I have those. Um, but I don't have the other ones yet. So we'll see what happens with that. But um, like my video, subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll be throwing out another video on Friday, more than likely. So let me know what you want to hear about.